Imagine, if you will, a pain in your face that's so intense you can't talk, eat, or move. It's called trigeminal neuralgia, and up to 15,000 people a year are diagnosed with it. When medications don't work, there's a new procedure that is helping to relieve some of the pain. Marty Salt has details. It was really painful. It would send me into attacks. They would last like 15 seconds. For years, Marilyn Gray, a grandmother of 12, lived day and night with excruciating pain in her face. I remember one summer I had rubbed the skin off my face. Described as a lightning bolt to both sides of her cheeks, anything would trigger her trigeminal neuralgia, brushing her teeth, eating, putting on her makeup. It starts all right here and back from my neck on up to the face. Nobody knows why some get it and some don't. We can point to a blood vessel that's usually compressing or touching the top or side of the trigeminal nerve. But what's interesting is that almost everyone has a blood vessel touching the trigeminal nerve as it leaves the brain stem. Neurosurgeon Jan McIver says there are several ways to treat it. First, medication, then radiation. But the effects last only 18 months. The most permanent procedure is microvascular decompression where a surgeon makes a window in the bone behind the ear on the side of the pain and then places a what looks like a very small pillow between the nerve and the blood vessel that is usually coursing over the top of the nerve. Radiation didn't work for Marilyn, so now she's planning to try this new procedure and hoping it gives a permanent fix. Marty Salt, 16 News Now. Now, trigeminal neuralgia happens more often in women than in men, and usually people who are over the age of 50. And because it happens near the jawline, it's often misdiagnosed as pain from a bad tooth or temple mandibular jaw syndrome. We'll be right back. Stay with us.